So let's consider another form of the chain rule for partial derivatives of multivariable functions. So assuming that we have z and this is a function of two variables x and y and then x and y are also functions of two variables u and then v so that we have x equals x of u v and then y also equals to y of u v then we have the composition z equals f of x of u v y of u v so this composition expresses z as a function of two variables u and then v so this time we are required to find the partial derivative so we are required to find the partial derivative of z with respect to u and the partial derivative of z with respect to v so in view of this we will need six components that is the partial derivative of z with respect to x and the y the partial derivative of x with respect to u and then v with respect to u and then with respect to v and then the partial derivative of y with respect to u and v so basically these are the six components we need to find the partial derivative of z with respect to u and then the partial derivative of z with respect to v so to find the partial derivative of z with respect to u that is given by so we are going to move from z to x so z partial derivative of z with respect to x times and then from x to u so times partial derivative of x with respect to u plus from z we move on to y so partial derivative of z with respect to y times from from y from y and then we move on to u so partial derivative of y with respect to u also for partial derivative of z with respect to v we also move from z to x and then from x to v plus from z to y and then from y to v so basically this is how to find the partial derivative of z with respect to u and then partial derivative of z with respect to v so in view of this let's consider the next example so in the next example for z equals e to the power xy x equals 2u plus v and then y equals u over v using the chain rule we are going to find partial derivative of z with respect to u and partial derivative of z with respect to v so we have z equals e to the power x y we have x equals 2u plus v and we have y to be equal to u over v now we can express this as u times v exponent negative 1 first we are going to find the partial derivative of z with respect to u and that's where this we move from z to x and then from x to u plus we move from z to y and then from y from y to you so basically we are going to find these four components so first to find the partial derivative of z with respect to x we are going to consider this function and then we differentiate this function with respect to x 
so we start from the exponent we differentiate x we have one so one times y that is y so y appears here and then we still repeat what we have e to the power x y we move on to partial derivative of x with respect to u we have x to be 2u plus v so we are going to differentiate term by term so derivative of 2u with respect to u is 2 and then because v is a constant we differentiate the constant and then we have 0 so we move on to partial derivative of z with respect to y and thus with this same function and this time we are differentiating with respect to y so we differentiate y here we have 1 1 times x is x so x appears here and then we have e to the power x y and then partial derivative of y with respect to u we are going to differentiate this function with respect to u and so with this we are going to treat v to the power negative 1 as a constant we differentiate with respect to u and then we have 1 and then 1 times that is v to the power negative 1 and we can as well represent this as 1 over v therefore for the partial derivative of z with respect to u we have this to be equal to y e to the power x y times 2 plus x e to the power x y times 1 over v so e to the power x y is common to both terms it's common to both terms so we can just factor that out and then we have 2y plus x times 1 over v so plus x times 1 over v now let's proceed so we have x to be equal to 2u plus v and then y also to be equal to u over v therefore this becomes e to the power 2u plus v all times u over v into brackets 2 times y so 2 times u over v plus x is 2u plus v also times 1 over v so we still have e to the power 2u plus v times u over v and then into bracket 2 times u over v plus so you multiply 1 over v across so you are going to have 2u over v plus v over v and that is 1 so this becomes e to the power 2u plus v times u over v into brackets now we have 2 u over v plus 2u over v so that becomes 4u over v plus 1 and this is the partial derivative of z with respect to u now let's move on to the partial derivative of z with respect to v so the partial derivative the partial derivative of z with respect to v is given by partial derivative of z with respect to x times partial of x with respect to v plus partial derivative of z with respect to y times partial derivative of y with respect to v so already we have the partial derivative of z with respect to x as y times e to the power x y and then partial derivative of z with respect to y to be equal to x times e to the power x y so let's find the partial derivative of x with respect to v and then of y with respect to v so if we have x to be equal to 2u plus v and then y to be equal to u over v or better still u times v to the power negative 1 we can find the partial derivative the partial derivative of x 
with respect to v and that's you are going to differentiate this function with respect to v we treat to u as a constant so derivative of this goes to zero derivative of v is equal to one and then for the partial derivative of y with respect to v that will be equal to we are going to differentiate with respect to v this is a constant so we drop down the exponent we have u here and then we are going to have v exponent negative 1 minus 1 so that becomes negative 2 so this finally becomes negative u over v square good so let's let's input the values or expressions of these four components in here so we have this to be equal to we have partial derivative of z with respect to x and that is y e to the power x y times partial of x with respect to v that is 1 plus partial of z with respect to y that is that is x times e to the power x y times partial of y with respect to v and that is negative u over v square now from this expression you know that e to the power x y is common to both terms so we can factor that out so that inside of the brackets we have y plus x times negative u over v square again we have e to the power now x is 2u plus v y is u over v inside of the brackets we have y which is u over v and then this negative so negative x is 2u plus v times u over v square notice that we have this negative this time out outside here so this becomes e to the power 2u plus v times u over v into bracket u over v minus so we are going to multiply u over v square across so this becomes negative 2u square over v square minus uv divided by v square so we have e to the power 2u plus v times u over v into bracket this becomes we have the lcm lcm to be v square so we find the lcm which is v square v square divided by v is v and then v times u is uv minus v square divided by v square is 1 times the numerator we still have 2 u square the same applies here we have u v so we simplify what we have in the bracket u v minus u v that is 0 so we have negative 2 u square over v square and this is the partial derivative of z with respect to v so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye